Welcome to our comprehensive guide on setting up Postfix SMTP Relay on Ubuntu. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process step by step, so you can easily configure your Ubuntu server to relay emails through Postfix. Postfix is a powerful and versatile mail server solution that is suitable for a wide range of use cases, from small personal servers to large-scale enterprise deployment. Its combination of security, performance, and ease of use makes it a popular choice for handling email delivery in Unix-based environments. Port 25 is blocked by hosting providers or ISPs as a way to control email spam. I recommend using Kamatera or Hawk Hosting VPS Port 25 is not blocked. However, you have the option to circumvent Port 25 and transmit emails through SMTP Relay, which operates on TCP Port 587, utilizing SMTP Relay. Your email server doesn't directly dispatch emails to the intended recipient's address. Instead, an intermediary mail server, referred to as a smart host or relay host, assumes the responsibility of dispatching emails on your behalf. Your email server establishes communication with the relay host on TCP port 587, following which the relay host communicates with the recipient's mail server via port 25. First, let's ensure our package lists are up to date. Open your terminal and type the following command. Numerous email service providers serve as relay hosts, each offering varying pricing models, including some with nominal charges and others with free monthly quotas. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to utilize Brevo formerly known as Sendinblue, an email service provider that grants you the ability to send up to 300 emails per day at no cost. You can any relay host you want. Next, let's install Postfix. Type the following command in your terminal to install it plus some package. The package is a set of libraries and plugins that provide support for the simple authentication and security layer framework in Linux systems. SASL is a method for adding authentication support to connection-based protocols, such as SMTP Simple Mail Transfer Protocol and IMAP Internet Message Access Protocol. After installing Postfix, you'll be prompted with a configuration screen. Select Internet Site and press Enter. Enter your server's fully qualified domain name when prompted. Now, let's edit the Postfix configuration file. Type the following command in your terminal to open the configuration file using Nanotext Editor. Locate the relay host parameter in the configuration file and uncomment it if it is commented by removing the hash symbol at the beginning of the line. Then, set the value to your SMTP server's address. In Brevo click the Transactional tab, you will get your SMTP settings. Scroll down to the end of the file and add the following lines. After adding the lines, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus X, then Y to confirm, and press Enter to exit. Create the following file by running this command. Add the SMTP relay host and SMTP credentials to this file. Add your actual SMTP username and password I will not show mine here on the internet. Next create the corresponding hash database file with postmap. 
restart postfix for the changes to take effect. The files we created earlier can be read and written to by anyone. Change the permission to 600 so only root can read and write to these two files. Make sure you have your domain and email address added in your Relay host provider. Add your domain and sender addresses in Brevo if you have not done so already. If you do not have a domain you can buy a cheap one from Namecheap. In this stage, it's crucial to establish SPF and DKIM records, as they significantly enhance the likelihood of your emails reaching recipients' inboxes instead of being relegated to the spam folder. While automated setup is preferred, should it fail, you can opt for manual configuration by clicking on the corresponding button. The automatic method failed so I will add the records manually.
The propagation of your new DNS records across the internet may vary depending on your DNS hosting service. Let us send a test email with MailX. If MailX is not installed, please install it. Just press enter to send the email. Let me now check my score. If I get a score it means the email was sent and the postfix is working just fine. You can increase the score by reading the recommendations and making changes. And there you have it. You've successfully set up Postfix SMTP Relay on your Ubuntu server. If you encountered any issues or have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.